Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today, I'm just sharing a quick unboxing of a Farm Rio sweater dress that I recently ordered. And I wanna share with you to see how this dress looks. Um, I'll pop up a quick picture right here of the model with the dress on. And I'm gonna take a look and see what my copy of the dress looks like or whatever they sent me. So here we go. Just tear this piece open. I ordered it from the Saks Fifth Avenue. It is in this multicolored pattern. Okay, so this is the front. Nice thick turtleneck, long neck, long sleeves. Here is the pattern up close. And it's nice and soft, extra long. It's a maxi dress. And next I'm gonna try this on so we can all see how it looks. Here's what it looks like. This is the neckline folded over three times. This is how it looks normally. So it's very thick and full like this, or it can be folded over just the one time. And that is kind of a little too much for me. But um, I could probably deal with it like this. Fold it in and then down one more time. So this is how I would probably wear it and this is how it looks. Size small and it fits pretty good. I really like the patterns and the colors and I will link this dress below if it is still available. Okay, I'm here with the Farm Rio sweater dress on and I have to do something about this neck. It literally is gonna prevent me from wearing it. So this is how it looks folded down. Okay, so it's very thick and I'm not gonna be able to wear it. So unfortunately, although the last thing I want to do is cut or do anything to hurt a farm real dress, but I have to. Um, so I already marked. That's where I'm going to cut it. And then I'm just going to tuck in the ends and just sew straight around. And I'm not sure if I want to hand sew it and kind of do an over stitch on top or if I want to use my actual sewing machine. I want the seam to still be a little bit full. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I just wanna give you a quick look at the dress right before I go and cut this fabric. I don't really want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit so you can see the neck again in its fullness. It's just, look at it. It's like a brace. And it doesn't really help when it's like this. It still feels very choky to me. I'm not really good with things like this. So you'll see me do the cut and then I'll show you a couple of stitches what I'm gonna do if I do it by hand. And then I'll show you the end result. A bunch of these clips and I think this is gonna hold much better than the pins because the material is very thick okay 
So I think I am going to sew it on the machine because I want to do a um, zigzag stitch because I think that's going to be the best to prevent it from unraveling inside. So I'm going to do that now. And now I have this extra piece. I'm gonna try to make something out of this. So I'm just gonna try a few things and I'll show you what I come up with. So I'm just doing a double fold over and then I'm pinning it down. And I'm gonna do this same thing to the, to the top and the bottom. Now I have this yarn and I, I'm going to make a braid. So here's the braid and I'm going to attach this to the pouch. I'm going to tuck this in with the fold. Okay, so the, the way the braid was was a little too loose. So I'm just making the braid a little bit tighter. So this is how it's going to hang. I'm going to sew along the bottom and then I'm going to go and do the same thing around the top. All right, so I'm going to close up the bottom with this thread here. This is a little bit thicker than normal thread. Just with a stitch going down, it's going to be an over the top stitch. I don't know what that's called but um, I'll show you how it's gonna look. Okay, so here is the new neck. And as you can see, it's tucked in and sewn like that, but it fits way better now, way better. Here's the little pouch I made with the added zipper. And I like how the zipper tucks in like that and this is kind of hidden. And that happened just because it's the sweater material. So here's how it looks. So that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.